it has been confirmed that all Xbox insiders are going to be invited for the Halo Infinite flight. 343 confirms that there will be no battle rifle star for Big Team Battle, but is that really an issue? More data mine leaks have been found from this flight, which reveals some really interesting customization that we've never had before in a Halo game. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Well, the flight has come and gone for us guys and the Halo community as a whole has just been injecting straight copium right up until Thursday when the flight opens back up that evening. We have some new information about the flight as well as next coming weekend as well as so I wanted to cover that in this video for you guys. So if you like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within the algorithm of YouTube. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So we know that the flight this weekend will be BTB focused and they're going to need a lot of people to participate and it looks like right here 343 and Xbox are kind of doubling down on that saying right here from this tweet from the Xbox Insider official page here saying reporting all Spartans all Xbox Insiders on Xbox are invited to join weekend two of the Halo Infinite Tech preview. So if you didn't get involved with this last weekend guys if you're playing on Xbox just go download the Insider Hub right there on your Xbox and you'll get in invited to play Halo Infinite. And it looks like you can download the game right now on your Xbox saying all Spartans want to join this weekend's Halo Infinite multiplayer tech preview. You can download the build via the Xbox Insider Hub starting right now. Halo Insider or not, you can join on the action. But remember everybody, the flight will actually technically be live on September 30th that evening where you'll be able to do weapon drills and training mode as well. Training mode has turned out to be a ton of fun. It's actually been a really great location to try to test out different sensitivities, learn some new mechanics, test out different jumps and things like that. I did this myself while just during the flight times where like the matchmaking was down. I would jump into some custom game and then just play around with some of the settings, do some different kind of jumps, figure out some unique things within these maps and the sandbox of Halo Infinite, just kind of understand the game a little better. And honestly, training mode is one of the best ways to go about doing that. So you Xbox people, you better get in on that download because why not? Halo Infinite has been widely well received amongst the community. I've seen people outside the community as well saying that they actually really are enjoying Halo for the first time since like Halo 3, Halo Reach days. And so it's just super exciting to see just the general gaming community as a whole excited about Halo again. And just some information about Big Team Battle this weekend, guys. It will happen all throughout this weekend. It looks like it'll be taking place on just one map, Fragmentation. For Friday night, it will be Capture the Flag, which we actually talked about in our 13 Things You Might Have Missed video, where the flag actually moves depending on how many flags you've captured that game. On Saturday, they'll be adding in the new game mode, Total Control, which we did see some people kind of hack into cousin games and play around with that a little bit. Of course, once we get the chance to play it on Saturday, I'll have a better idea of exactly how it plays out, but it does look really exciting. Then on Sunday, the final day, they'll be adding in Slayer on Fragmentation, so that day you'll have Capture the Flag, Total Control, and Slayer to play around with. The same time frames we had for the 4v4 weekend, thus last weekend for BTB as well. But also keep in mind, guys, that 4v4 is also happening next weekend as well. So if you don't want to play BTP, you want to play some 4v4 arena, this will be available for you as well. I'm assuming pretty much the same thing that we had on Sunday with like Bizarre, Behemoth, Live Fire, and Recharge with all the different game modes available. You'll be having that all available this coming weekend as well. This next bit of information is a confirmation from 343 talking about whether or not battle rifles will be at the start for BTP as traditionally we've always had that except for like Halo 5, but then they kind of mixed in BR starts and pistols starts as well but it sounds like we won't be having battle rifle starts in BTB for this weekend as a game mode variation or anything like that. Sketch in replying to a thread of a few content creators out here talking about whether or not having pistol AR starts or having BR starts would be a much better way to go about playing BTB. He replies back saying, currently by default, you don't start with BRs in BTB. In my experience, there's no shortage of weapons to go around. Scavenging is a big part of the gameplay loop, which is very interesting on my point of view because from what I play from the flight, at least in 4v4 arena guys, 
that it seemed like ground loot like disappeared almost instantly. It's like worse than Halo 4, honestly, which is either a good or a bad thing. I can't really tell because there were multiple times where I would die with a battle rifle, spawn in the general direction, go back to pick up that battle rifle, and it, it was already gone. But I think what he means by scavenging is by going to various weapon racks on the map to pick up something new. From what the gameplay that we saw back in the live stream, it did seem like the weapon racks provided a decent amount of variety and different kind of weapons to pick up throughout the map. I do hope that there are multiple locations to pick up a battle rifle as I can definitely see the BR being very powerful. I can see the reason why they don't have a BR star for BTB right now is because precision weapons are hit scanned in Halo Infinite, meaning you don't have to lead your shots. And from what I experienced when it comes to precision weapons being hit scanned like in Halo 2 Anniversary, playing BTB in there, it's quite difficult to actually move around through the map and actually like pick up weapons, pick up map control because like somebody across the map could just laser you with a battle rifle, not necessarily kill you, but just pepper you enough to where it wouldn't be very advantageous to go to various locations on the map. I mean, think of the difference of playing Blood Gulch on CE, where playing Blood Gulch on H2A play is completely different. And that's one because a bullet spread with the Magnum and also projectile. Like imagine having hit scan weapons on Valhalla. Well, Actually, you can with Ragnarok, and I don't really like how Ragnarok plays because of the hitscan weapons. It makes it very campy, tough to move around. So this is very important why we flight, guys, so we have a chance to jump in, play with AR, sidekick starts, and see how that actually works for BTB. So I think this weekend is going to be very important to voice your opinions after playing, obviously, on like Twitter, Reddit, and various other locations like Halo Waypoint, to kind of provide feedback for 343 that's like, hey, maybe we do want BR stars, maybe we want Commando AR stars, or or something like that. Like I mentioned at the top of this video, guys, there were some new data mined leaks for Halo Infinite from this flight and some really interesting customization that we've never had before within a Halo game. One thing that looks really cool is going to be the vehicle customization. It looks like you can customize the grills on like a Warhog. You can have different windshield kind of customization. You can even put on mud flaps on your Warhog if you want to do that as well. Different kind of rims, hood ornaments, and things like that. So there seems like there'll be a lot more customization beyond just your Spartan when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. Now I would showcase these images, but of course these are leaked images that are data mined, most likely not supposed to be seen by the public. And I don't want to risk my channel just for a few clicks, but trust me, if you go to some sources online, <coughs> Reddit, or whatever website decides to post it anyways, I'm sure you can find it pretty easy. Some of the other kind of customization being like armor effects, death effects as well. Some really interesting emblems that kind of play off like traditional memes and things like that. Think of like the rock with the fanny pack kind of meme. Yeah, that's an emblem. And one thing that got me really excited were some of the HCS Pro partner team emblems and also some of the coatings that were there. Dude, the coatings for these partner teams honestly look really sick. They're not like overdone, obnoxious or anything like that. They actually look really cool. I can honestly see people rocking these coatings even if they're not fans of HCS and competitive Halo because they look so cool. Some weapon charms were leaked as well. Some of them are pretty great, even mentioning some old school type of memes within the community as as well. And also just badass looking ones and funny ones as well for weapon charms you can add on. We do know that weapon charms are going to be a thing. You can pick them up through promotions and it looks like also maybe some progression stuff maybe tied to the battle pass as well. Again, we'll just have to wait and see how that kind of customization and unlock system pans out. Also stay tuned to the channel today guys because we have an HCS announcement about the first Halo Infinite event coming for us guys. And I guarantee I'll be making a video about it as soon as possible as the news does go live today. Of the time of posting this video obviously. So if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me recently, check out the videos right here. I got a place for all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.